So on Facebook Live, this is Simon for the Occupy News Network. What we have here is a blockade of the road just outside the uh, delivery area for the XL Exhibition Centre. And what's trying to be delivered is military equipment, Israeli military equipment that has been brought to London to be sold. They're trying to deliver kit to set up inside the Exhibition Centre. And in the road are peace activists being lovely and disobedient. There's also one activist who's uh, managed to squirm his way under with his Palestinian flag under the lobby. Okay, good afternoon everybody. This is Ashley OB from well, Occupy News Network and we are at the Occupy the Arms Fair camp. As you can see. Okay. Uh, nice number of tents since uh, yesterday. And uh, there's been a few actions already and of course there's been at least, um, from what I gather, at least eight uh, arrests already. Today's theme is, uh, is uh, stop arming Israel. And unfortunately what's happening is that Israel is, um, well they're using, the military are using uh, basically the uh, occupied territories as a way to, uh, not to test weapons. To see, hey, this is actually, uh, they can make an ad, with, uh, an ad saying, yes, this, uh, this weapon has been used against uh, Palestinian children who actually well who uh, may have been may have been allegedly throwing stones at uh, some people or some uh, you know at the invaders of their uh, territory i mean how many people of you would say if you were um, if your home was being demolished or being or your home was being invaded how many of you are actually going to uh, just say oh yes i'll just walk away or you're going to uh, defend yourself and defend your home it seems to be the case that if um, you know if it's brown people doing that, then they are terrorists. But if not, you're just doing your job. So the arms fair is a, a corporate event. It's hosted by an events company, Clarion, aided and abetted by the UK government. So the uh, Defence Security Organisation, DSO, an arm of the US government who receives 700 million a year in taxpayer money. They will facilitate the sale of arms and their biggest trading event is next week at the DSEI, Defence Security Equipment International Show. So there will be tens of thousands of visitors. There will be many different companies, many UK companies. And they will sell anything from a, a small handheld weapon up to ships and tanks, armoured vehicles. We've already seen many armoured vehicles come through here today. And the weapons they sell are to buyers globally. Many of those buyers come from countries where the UK government has severe concerns around human rights abuses. So there are many, but Saudi Arabia, Israel, Turkey, Pakistan, um, Qatar will come here to buy weapons and then take them home to use against their own populations or to use in ongoing wars. What happens here each year is that we're attempting to disrupt the flow of equipment into the arms fair. I'm reporting from the Stop the Arms Fair camp at the eastern end of the XL Centre. At the moment things are a bit calmer so I can show you around the camp and show what's going on. Um, so people who come either for the day or those with tents are hoping to stay longer, potentially all week. There's a clear link between the sale of arms in London next week and the use of those arms around the world in situations which the UN describe as war crimes in Palestine and in Yemen with the Saudis. This action is clearly targeted at preventing the, uh, preventing the occurrence of greater crimes.